Okay, so we have uh, a Ticket Dome today. It's a great game. Uh, I love the way it looks. I love the way it lights up. Um, it's a very nice game. People love this game. Um, it was a little tricky to set up at first, but uh, once you figure it out, it's, it's good to go. Anyway, so the problem we have here is that one of the little elevators, you see, one, two, three, the fourth one is missing because it's right here in my hand. Um, it broke off. You see right there. So, can I try to rig it? Man, I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to look inside of it, but we're definitely going to have to order a new part and repair it um i've never been inside this game so it's gonna be fun so let's go find the keys and open it up and uh take a look around see what we could uh do or try to fix or i don't know um we might not be able to fix it might just have to stay down until we get the the part in so let's see what we can do let's open it up okay so just to show you what i've done to get into this game to see what's going on i've removed the motor um, I just removed the, the three screws that held it on, just kind of got that out of my way so I could move the belt freely. Obviously, still trying to get in here is nearly impossible because you know, my arms are kind of fat. I don't want to say big, they're fat, and they're not going to fit in there. So, I came up to the top and started uh, removing things. So, what I did was I removed um, these covers. You know, they go right here these two screws right here and there's two screws on the other side I loosened them and I didn't remove them I loosened them and then just kind of pulled this off um, I pulled this one off right here oh, hold on a second. I had to turn off this freaking cyclone game it was loud obnoxious anyways uh, so I removed the two covers this one on this side right here this one on this side because it allows me to get to these two screws um, these cover those those screw holes so you would never know they're back there if you wanted to take this off so um, I've never worked on this game I'm just sort of like taking things apart trying to see what's going on uh, I may have taken too many things apart like I probably may have not needed to remove the bottom motor um, but I did um, it's a little, fairly easy to put back um, but I got to here so anyways I removed those tops to expose the two screws and then I had to remove these bottom plastics so it's a screw on this side um, and a screw on the other side um, take those out and this just kind of like moves out of the way or you can just kind of take it out uh, both sides because you have to be able to reach um, both the screws there's another set of screws right here that get covered by this plastic so once you remove this um, this is the, the I guess the sweeper yeah, the, the bar goes up and down and just kind of sweeps it, it keeps it clean, I guess. Um, you remove these little sweeper bars that cover all of this right here. Um, I made a mark to tell me where exactly the belt is going to be, although I don't think it makes a difference because there's a rail in the back of it that allows you, that, that um, I guess hits the sensor right here, the, oh, the micro switch has to say. It's not really a sensor, it's a micro switch. So the little bracket is right here. If I can get it up, it fell down. Anyways, I needed this part out because I'm gonna see if I can get it re-welded back on and then put it back together. Let's see if I can show you the bracket from down here since it slid down. That bracket right there holds this little piece of metal that I have on in my hand. Um, that stays there so I, I think I can fix it so let me go ahead and get this down to maintenance and, and see if I can get them to weld it and hopefully we can get this game back together and up and running so uh, let's go down to maintenance all right so we got it welded back on um, did a nice job uh, so the, one of the issues that we have here is that this is all stainless steel and the welding that the factory did was metal so they used the wrong welding rod I guess for the wrong material stainless steel they should have used a stainless steel rod um, so what we did is uh, we sort of just grinded it down cleaned it up slapped it back on there and used the actual um, stainless steel rod to re-weld everything um, so now it's just a matter of putting it back on 
I thought maybe you could remove it, but those aren't really studs or screws. I tried taking it out, it did, they didn't want to come out, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to maybe put my screwdriver in there and be able to screw this back together. So let's see what we can do. Let's uh, put it back in the game. Okay, so this is the, the little um, bracket that I'm talking about. It sits on this little black bar right here. Um, you can see it's got teeth. That's where these uh, grooves will sit in. And then the bracket that's just repaired will attach to these little screw holes and then it should be back together. And then I just gotta put the motor back in, tighten the belt, and then connect everything, and hopefully everything works. So, um, did I have to remove a lot of things? Not, probably not, but um, at least I know more about this game than I did before. Um, did I have to make that mark there on the, on the actual belt? Nah, eh, probably not, but I'm gonna put it back at the same location so everything is the same. Um, well, let's try to get our fat fingers to screw these screws back in. Um, let's get her done. Oh, all right, so, got the arm back on. All screwed back together. All good. So all that's left now is to go ahead and um, start putting everything back together. Put the plastic back together up here, um, then go down there, plug the motor back in or connect the motor back up, screw the motor back in, install the motor back up, however you want to do it. Just put it back together and then let's test it. So let's, uh, let's get to work and put this stuff back together. All right, so everything is back together. All the screws are put back on. Uh, make sure you put these plates back in there as well. Um, I did remove these. These screws up here on this side or here, I did remove the top right here just to just to expose this area. I still think that uh, these are nuts that can be removed to make this easier because installing this with all put together, trying to get my screwdriver around, was a little difficult. It wasn't that hard, but it, it was a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, I still think they can come apart, but I'm just not sure. But I was able to put it on without having to remove it, so I know it can be done. But if you take it apart and make it easier for yourself that is great anyways all plastic is back together i uh, even came down here and made sure my motor was back in there and made tight i connected all my plugs uh, sorry about the blurriness i connected all my plugs uh made sure the belt was good and tight and uh, all that's left to do is turn it on and try it let's uh let's do that all right so everything's back together let's turn it on see what happens uh where's my little thing here let's pull this bad boy out Everything's turning on. Hey, look at that. Arm is coming up, doing its thing. I think it's working. Everything seems to be moving. Of course, it's not really in sync, but does it have to be in sync? Nah, I don't think so. Well, let's um, credit it up. See if it works. Here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna give it a credit. Alright. So let's, let's do this. There it goes down. Go grab some tickets. We got a few tickets. It's gonna come up. That's it. I think it's working. So at this point, all you gotta do now is close the dome. Uh, if you don't know how to close the dome, there's a button right there. Push down. Caution, platform moving. Dome is going down. And it's good to go. Um, consider this game fixed. Everything is working. It gave me my tickets. Arms moving up and down. Um, it was, uh, uh, I don't want to say hard, it was very meticulous, it was a lot of small spaces, you know, um, but it wasn't that bad. The game's working, it's welded, uh, I'll probably will order the part just to have it on hand, but I'm pretty sure that that weld will stay there 
and and good for a long time. You know, I, I, if it does more than a year, then great. You know, uh, it's a good weld. All right, so Gibby's good to go. Uh, it's back in play. Thanks for watching. All right, one last thing I wanted to touch base. Um, I know you were hearing that squeaking sound in the back. Um, it is coming from this game. Um, I don't know where it's coming from. I can't pinpoint the sound. Uh, when I do, I will let you know where it's coming from and what I did to get it to stop. So that's kind of like the next project. So right now the game's working, so I'll leave it at that. Gotta find the squeak. Anyways, thanks for watching. All right, so uh, I found the, the squeak. Um, it's one of these wheels down here. It was actually that one right there. Um, there's a whole bunch of them all over the place. Um, there's even those red ones on the end over there. Um, there's some on this side over here. And then there's some underneath, like almost like caster wheels. Um, that one was squeaking. Um, I started with those two over there. I sprayed a little bit of silicone lube into it. I, I like using 3 one but the silicone lube will be okay. I started with that one, that didn't do anything, and then I went over to this one, sprayed it, and all of a sudden it quieted down. And it's not, so now the squeakiness is gone. I want to say this game is, is fixed. It's, it's good to go. Um, well, that's how I fixed the squeakiness. So get some silicone or some three-in-one oil, and that should be good. All right, well, thanks for watching.